saxophone channel it's Saturday saxophone tutorials again last week we were here and we had lesson on saxophone growling technique and today we're here with something different today we'll be looking at 10 common saxophone mistakes 10 common saxophone mistakes want to say if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to the channel just click on the subscribe button and click on the bell beside the subscribe button so that you get notified once we upload our saxophone tutorials okay let's go to the business of today 10 common saxophone mistakes. The first mistake is reed placement. Reed placement. Yes, when you want to place your reed on your mouthpiece, try as much as you can to put your reed tip to tip. Tip of the reed to the tip of the mouthpiece. That's one mistake some sax players do. Mistake number two is embroiture. Embroiture. Try as much as you can not to bite. Don't bite. Don't be don't be too hard. Don't be too hard. Trust not to release muzzle from your face. Tip number three, avoid biting on the mouthpiece. Avoid biting on the mouthpiece. When you play, don't bite on the mouthpiece. Then number four mistake is puffing the cheek. Avoid puffing your cheek. Don't puff your cheek when you play like it's it's a very bad habit don't do that as sax player don't do that don't pop your cheek then number five mistake is the right read size the right read size what is your read size what is your read size as a matter of fact you should have a read size not that because somebody's playing size three you are playing size three somebody's playing 3.5 you are playing 3.5 because somebody is playing two and a half no everybody have their root size and apart from having your root size your mouthpiece also will determine your root size for mouthpiece with larger tip opening mouthpieces with larger tip opening they play with a softer root size no more of the medium root size then mouthpiece with a closer tip opening play with a harder read size so try as much as you can to know your read size all right so number six mistake is focus on one thing when you practice focus on one thing don't play this don't play this don't play fine you can play at the end of the day you play everything but try as much as you can to achieve one goal you know if this is if you are practicing a for instance try as much as you can to make sure you play that A and understand that A, you know, to the fullest before you move to B. Don't practice everything at the same time. You know, focus on one thing. Then number seven mistake that most sax players do is don't be too technical. Don't be too technical. It's not in the much scales. It's not in the uh, uh, asana of scales. You know, it's not in the volume of scales. You, know, you see some people play just a simple song they are playing too many scales in one simple and short song no your listener know good music when they hear one they know good music and they know bad music as a matter of fact let them digest what you are playing fine you can at the time you can just put some scales but it doesn't mean from the beginning to the end you just want to be no 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 music is not done that way it's not done that way don't be too technical in your play then number eight is bad practice habit mistake number eight is bad practice habit try as much as you can to you know have a goal to your place of reactors if you are if you are reacting you want to react today what is it that you want to achieve in your reactors why are you reacting today that's what you'll be looking at what do you want to achieve you know you go to a place of reactors and you don't have a routine for the day what are you supposed to start with you know, is it warm up? Is it long tone? Is it, you know, the scale of the song you want to play? 
or is it uh, uh, what do you call it? Could it be the chromatic scale of that song before you start what you want to do? You know, it is good to rehearse and it's better to rehearse and achieve something, not just pleasure rehearse that because you just want to play the sax. You know, bad practice habit. Try as much as you can to avoid bad practice habit. Then I think um, number nine mistake is don't under practice. Don't under practice. Just try as much as you can to have, you know, know when your practice is adequate. You know, some people tell you they practice 10 hours, some tell you they practice 5 hours, 24 hours. Oops! Kudos, kudos to you for your 24 hours, your 10 hours practice. But know when you are when you are satisfied with your practice. Either the goal for that day should be at least above 50% achieved. If not 100%, it should be above 50% achieved when you go to a place of rehearsals. You know, just try as much as you can not to under practice not just play for five minutes and you are done and you expect to go on stage and sound like a pro or play all of that that professionals play no it doesn't work that way you have to engage yourself with enough reactors why the last mistake uh, such players do uh, i deliberately left this one for the last because it's it's a common one you know it's not in the gear it's not in the instrument like I always tell people, professional saxophone is good, professional math pieces are, are okay, dope, yeah, they are good. But with the student saxophone, you can you can play uh, all of those sounds that professional has played. You are the saxophone actually, the sound is in you. This is just to amplify that sound. No, this is a uh, Selma Reference 54. It's a professional saxophone, Selma Reference 54. The truth is that it's not because it's a professional saxophone. The way I sound with this saxophone, if I get all of those student saxophones, student great saxophone, I can also sound like that. I can also sound like that. It's about the technique, no knowing the right technique for the instrument. It's not in the instrument. But if you can afford a professional saxophone, thank you. Just go and get one. But if you can't afford a professional saxophone, whichever saxophone you can lay your hands on. Go for the saxophone right technique, not the instrument. You understand? All right, I think that's all for common mistake. I want to say if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Click on the subscribe button and click on the bell beside the subscribe button so that you get notified once we upload our saxophone tutorial. If you like this video, if you like all what you've heard, just click on the like. I want to say for me, thank you for watching this far. Saturday saxophone tutorials coming your way again next week. God bless you. Thank you.